Hey, what's going on, everyone? Sly, and I want to talk about the game uh, against the Titans, preseason game, and something that really strange that happened, man. <laughs> we picked up a guy. I don't know if you guys remember, Jonathan Garvin. We picked him up the day before the Niners game against the Titans. I didn't know much about him. I'm still learning about him. But according to PFF, he had the best grade on the defensive side with, I think, 84.5 grade. But he looked freaking good, man. He had four tackles, three of them solo. I don't know if you guys remember the play. Um, it was a fourth and one. Um, Titans driving down the field. They went for it. And Garvin just blows up the play. And I'm thinking, when that play happened, I'm like, man, preseason, we get torched all the time in the run game. Like, we're holding. I'm like, we're we're containing the run. Like, it, it was shocking to see. Um, and just watching him play, I'm like, who the F is this guy? Who the heck is this guy? A guy drafted seventh round from University of Miami. Uh, was with the uh, Green Bay Packers for two years. Did nothing. I heard one Packer fan say, yeah, he was just a, basically, he was just a dude. I think he had like one and a half sacks those two years. And went to the UFL last year. And I'm watching film on him. Guys, I'm not saying he's this guy, but... He does have a similar a similar move that Reggie White had. He had like a freaking like a club move that he does. And I'm like, oh shoot, man, that's pretty freaking impressive, you know. And right now, who knows, man? Our defensive ends, who do we got? We got Nick Bosa, right? We got Leonard Floyd, the Bass Brothers. That's that we're top heavy there, right? We got Yair Gross Matos, who's going to play inside out. He'll probably be the third dude. Who's the fourth guy? Like, who's it going to be? We know Drake Jackson out for the season, right? Robert Beal, someone who I've been high on uh, last year. Like, I can't wait till he comes out. And actually played pretty good in his last game of the season when he played. Dude, he was horrible. I'm um, like... Versus the Titans, man. He was horrible in his run assignments. Just getting gashed, looking like Chase Young out there against the run. Wasn't really getting pressure. Uh, this spot's open, man. This four, who knows, we have four or five guys on the outside. It's open. Like, who wants it, man? Who wants to be that guy? And <laughs> watching Jonathan Garvin, man, it's like, what? Like, it looks like he was there all camp, man. He came in the day before. And had the best PFF grade on defense. 35 snaps, I believe. 34, 35 snaps. And he looked strong out there. Like, he was like, he was pushing the tackles like nothing. I know a lot of those tackles probably aren't going to make the team. But this guy, he, he's there. And you want to do, get a pick up a guy, not a young project. This guy's in his prime. He's 25 years old. He's got his man strength. He's ready to go, you know. He's not like these young pups. Like, you know, still growing, still developing. It's now or never for him. So you could tell he stayed in shape, knowing that he might eventually get picked up, get called up. He does, and he makes the most of it, man. He was very impressive out there. I'm not saying he's going to make the 53. That's, that's it's still a long shot. But that's one guy I'm looking at this next preseason game against the Saints. What's he going to do? How is he going to perform? Coming out of nowhere. You know, most guy, a lot of guys on the facility probably don't know who the hell he is, you know. Like, who is this guy? And I know that's one of the talking points in those meetings right now with John, John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, um, Serrano, all those guys are like, dude, we got to see what he's going to do at practice. I, I'm not sure if the beat writers are going to be going to these practices uh, this week, if it's the last week or if it's done. But I want to see, man. I want to see this guy, hear about this guy, how he's doing on the one-on-ones, uh, how he's doing on 11-11s, because I want to see more of this guy. I just, he just he popped out. He popped out on screen the w way he was playing. I was just like, oh, shoot. Like, who is this? Like, what the heck is going on with this guy? So it's exciting, man, just knowing that we might have it would have depth out there. And we have guys, you know, if Robert Beal can't step up, who knows? Like, again, he may be cut in a few weeks. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But it was good seeing guys come out of nowhere 
and ball out, you know, and ball out. So, <laughs> and I don't know, man, there's not much else to say because he's, he's a guy that, again, could be cut in a few weeks, but what you saw there, it was like impressive. You just don't see that, you know, a guy getting picked up one day, <laughs> the day before, and then it looks like he was there all training camp, all OTAs, all mini camp. So, Jonathan Garvin, that's a guy. Just wait and see. Let's see. Let's see what he does the next week. You know, again, I was pumped up for Evan Anderson because I know um, all training camp. That's who uh, Larry Kruger was talking about. Dude, watch out for Evan Anderson. Evan Anderson, this guy is just amazing out there. And then come game against the Titans, his ass is on the ground, legs up in the air, getting blown up every play, and it's like, oh yikes. This is the guy you've been talking about hyping up all off seasons. Like, come on. He was there all training camp at all OTAs mini camp. And he freaking just looks horrible out there. This guy comes in one day before, before the game and he's freaking tearing it up. Like what's going on? You know? So I was watching more film on him today just because I was like, dude, I got to see, got to see more on this guy. I got to find out more about this guy. I think the University of Miami, his last year, what do you have, like five and a half, six and a half sacks his senior year? So, I mean, there's something there, you know? There's something there. Who knows what it is? I think if he keeps playing the way he is, he's definitely going to be making the practice squad. I, I just don't think there's no question about that. He has a really good chance if he continues doing what he's doing to make the practice squad. And if he excels and looks better than Robert Beal, the way Robert Beal looked, uh, Dude, he could be on the freaking roster, you know? Because that's one thing I remember Matt Barrows was talking about um, from the Atlantic. He's like, you know what? Like, right now it's up for grabs for a, that outside spot. Like, the Niners, that's one thing that they need on defense. More depth is that, that defensive end. Because other than those two guys, you know, obviously great players. I love them. Uh, Leonard Floyd, uh, Nick Bosa, that's a massive, that's a huge huge um, guys right there. Bass Brothers, baby. And we're talking about the best of the best in the NFL. But when they go out, who's going to be that guy? Obviously, we got Gross Matos. They signed him for a lot of deal. But he mostly plays inside. He's going to play outside too. But who's going to be the other guy, man? We, If there is, maybe I'm drawing a blank right now. But that's one thing I remember Barrows was talking about. Yeah, we the Niners probably need another guy at the end now that Drake Jackson's probably not going to be there. And jeez, man, obviously we got Alex Barrett, man. But Alex Barrett, dude, that guy's been here, what, since 2020? And that guy never, never makes a damn team. He made the team, I think, in 2020 when everyone was injured. I know Bosa went on IR. They had Solomon Thomas playing the outside. He went on IR that year. Um, so we got to play, like, the last three or four games. But, I mean, he's there just to be there, I think. So... It should be interesting, man. Uh, that's just one guy just to look at, man. Look at against the Saints. See how he does. And if he does it, man, I'm, I'm going to be... Then I'm going to get a little bit more pumped. I'm going to be like, all right, we might have something here. But, man, that's what I got. Let me know what you think. Check him out on YouTube. Check this guy out, man, because that, that was impressive. It was impressive for a guy off the street balling out like that. But that's what I got, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you next time. Peace.